What's up guys, it's Dylan Wills here with MotoOnline.com.au uh, and we're in Norway, uh, we're testing the 2024 Husqvarna Enduro range. Um, you know, obviously I've got a lot of um, you know, background with Husqvarna as a brand, being a motocross racer back at home, but never as an enduro guy. Um, so, you know, I really had to come in here with an open mind and, and ha make, have that ability to, to switch my riding style and, um, you know, switch it up to, to suit these bikes. And um, that's the biggest takeaway from today is really riding these bikes the way they're meant to be ridden. Um, you know, they're, they're such good bikes and there's so many key features to them, um, you know, in this new model. One of the biggest changes that I was a really big fan of is the foot peg placement. Um, it's slightly lower and slightly tighter in, um, which makes a big difference. Um, just that ability to, to move the bike between your legs. Um, you know, obviously coming from a motocross background, like I said, um, the way the riding styles are evolving and, and you know, changing that direction with the legs is, is so important. And, and the same, same with enduro. So, um, you know, if I had to pick a bike out of, out of the range, uh, my favourite was the 350 for sure. Um, you know, you had that power to weight mixture where it was just the perfect combination. Um, it wasn't too fast, it wasn't too slow. Um, it just really handled sections nicely. It wasn't too much of a beast or anything like that. Also new for the 24 model um, is the closed cartridge fork. Um, just a really good positive feel through the fork. Um, we had some really testing conditions here today. Um, it wasn't just your normal single trail. It was uh, really rocky. Uh, really technical stuff where you had to be on your A game and um, the fork held up well. It was plush in spots but it held up well on the you know, big rocky downhills and stuff like that. So um, for me, a really big change. A surprise for me um, was definitely the 250. Um, I spent a lot of time on 250s in the past uh, and you know, I wasn't, if I'm being honest, I wasn't as excited to ride this bike. Um, but it really, really did surprise me. It was uh, really nimble. The power, the down low power was unbelievable. Um, the torque really got you over the rocky sections quite well. The bike would drive nice and straight. Um, it was a really surprising package for me. And like I said, it wasn't the bike I was looking forward to most. Uh, I had a chance to, to spend a lot of time on the 450 and the 501 as well. And uh, really surprising, man. You know, they're, they're big bikes. They're big, heavy bikes. and. Um, you know, they're just not, they just don't ride like you think they would. It was really a big surprise for me, you know, coming from motocross where we only have a 450. Um, there are a lot of different power delivery and things like that. Um, but, you know, the 450 um, for me was slightly better, just a little bit lighter, a little bit easier to change direction through the trees and uh, just a little bit easier to handle over the rocks. But, you know, just clicking that taller gear, letting the bike roll, um, I was really surprised at, you know, how well they could handle such, man, the, the, the sections were crazy, so handling those sections, it was a really big surprise for me. Uh, new on the, there's the 252 stroke, uh, the 300 and obviously the 150. Um, a really big thing that I noticed, uh, the, the 39 millimeter keying throttle, throttle body. Just the idling point for it for me, especially in tricky conditions like this, um, you were never fighting or fluctuating up and down and, and trying to find that right spot. Um, you could really just focus a lot more on what you were riding instead of you know having to focus on the bike as well not only that the the responsive feel through the throttle straight away um, you know it's not like your typical two-stroke with that power band feel it was just really responsive a lot more four strokey in a way um, but really impressed you know with the low um, like the torque the low down torque on the two strokes it's just uh, super impressive you can really climb up over um, some really tricky stuff so um, all in all you know Super happy to, to be here, you know, it's not every day you get to travel to the other side of the world and, and ride dirt bikes and uh, we come over here, they supplied us with, you know, some really, really tough conditions so it was awesome, you know, I've done a lot of riding on dirt bikes in the past and, um, you know, you can still always be tested.